So welcome back to the channel everyone, Triple M here. Today's video, we're going over the new Shield Experience 8.0.2. Now this is a brand new upgrade for the Nvidia Shield. This video, we're gonna do a quick overview, see what the upgrade entails. We're also gonna do a live update and then we're gonna come back and test some of the key features. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So of course, if you're new to the channel, smash the subscribe button in the top right, hit the notification bell. Remember, best way to support the channel, simply by hitting the thumbs up and sharing this video. Now, if you guys are subscribed to the channel, have your notification bell on like you should. You know that yesterday I released a video just announcing some of the deals that's available for your streaming devices. So on that list was the Nvidia Shield 2019. That's the non-pro version, so the cone Nvidia Shield. Uh, the price of that dropped down to 129 so definitely a great buy in my opinion. We also had deals on the Fire TV 4K where it drops it down to 34 but with a coupon code you can't get it for $24 and I'll go ahead and link that video guys. Two other things they had the Fire TV Cube and they also had a Fire TV Recast so all of those are on sale right now. I'll leave a couple links in the description but also if you want to check out that video from yesterday I'll leave that in the description as well. So let's go ahead and talk about the Nvidia Shield upgrade this is upgrade 8.0.2 so let me go back home normally when an upgrade is available you will see it a big notification in the top of your screen however if you don't see that notification go over to your settings and then it's just going to go down to check for upgrade so if you click on that and you do have an upgrade available it will look like that if you don't have an upgrade available and it will tell you if one is available for your device or not so let's go ahead and check out what's new in 8.0.2 so the biggest thing and i uh, talked about this a little bit in the video yesterday is that the new nvidia shield remote is available for sale now before you go ahead and jump over to amazon or over to the nvidia website it's sold out almost immediately so it's not available anymore but um, there is a, an option where you can go ahead and sign up uh, with your email that way when it becomes available again you will get a notification so bummer the price on the remote is only $29.99 another shocker in my opinion a lot lower than I expected but that's probably why it's sold out so fast and if you watch my shield reviews you know that I believe the remote is the biggest upgrade for 2019 so what it's saying right here is that Nvidia Shield Remote now available, so available for purchase. Uh, Shield Experience 8.0.2 adds support for the new Nvidia Shield 2019 Remote. Now this part I don't get because I did a video a couple months ago where I actually was able to pair the Shield Remote and it worked flawlessly, all the features worked. So I'm not sure how this support for the remote is different from the previous remotes. It also said new feature includes a motion activated backlit button remote locator feature and a customizable menu button so i'll go ahead and check those options out uh, once we do the upgrade and next to that it says available for purchase at nvidia.com so one thing i noted yesterday is that this remote is actually not on amazon it's only available on the nvidia website so if you're looking to buy this remote that's the only place you can find it currently so let's scroll down um look like the biggest part is probably about the remote they do have some upgraded apps so uh, Plex is a big one and let me just go into this I did a video on this a couple weeks ago and what um, Plex is offering now guys is basically a video on demand service completely free it is ad driven but it does have some cool movies and shows in there works pretty good so check that out if you have Plex uh, worth checking out in my opinion and as always I'll go ahead and link that video about the Plex upgrade so with this new upgrade the Plex you can watch TV shows and classic movies like Rain Man the Terminator the usual suspects and Raging bull with fewer commercials interruptions compared to other free services um, bt plus is now available on shield it's a premium subscription over a thousand hours of your favorite movies all right so they do have some new games asphalt 9 brick breaker they do have some geforce now uh, releases if you guys are big into gaming and below that the enhancements it adds support for the new xbox elite two controllers so i don't have that controller unfortunately i can't test it but if you guys have that controller let me know how it works on nvidia shield also it adds support for the sanskrit usb dac not sure what that is i'll go ahead and look it up but if you guys know what it is off the top of your head go ahead and drop that in the comment section as well channels dvr app can now store recorded content on nas so channels dvr is another app i'm not familiar with but because of this, I'll go ahead and check it out. And if it's worth reviewing, I'll go ahead and do a review. So those are all the features. Before I go ahead and do the upgrade, I wanted to show you guys that I do have the new Shield remote. I do have it paired to the current Shield, as you can see there. 
all right so what i want to do is just go over to the settings i want to see what settings are available from inside the device now and uh, once we upgrade, we can kind of take a second look and see if anything changed. So I'm going to go to Shield Accessories. And uh, this remote is Remote 2. These are the options that's available. You can change the name, of course. The battery level is full. Backlight settings, if I click on that, you can see I have some settings there. Um, brightness, duration, on button, on the remote, pick up the remote. So basically, any button press will turn on the backlight on this. And also, when you pick up the remote, it will turn it on as well. Find this remote. That feature actually works. Check it out. There it goes. So that actually works. And you do have the option to forget. All right. So that's all the options, guys. So like I said, this is working flawlessly without the upgrade. Um, but I'm curious to see what's going to happen after the upgrade. So uh, let's go ahead and perform the upgrade hopefully doesn't take too long and we're going to go ahead and restart to install now what i'll do i'll go ahead and forward this video i want to keep it as short as possible i'll probably uh, talk too much already but i'll come back when the upgrade is all done so there's an upgrade available for your accessory uh, maybe disconnected um, briefly let's click continue i'm not sure which accessory it's um, talking about but um, I do have both shield remotes connected right now, so we'll just let it upgrade and uh, we'll go ahead and see if any changes are made. All right, so one shield accessory updated. All right. So first thing before we do anything, let's go ahead and check the version, see if any updates are still available. So let's go to check for upgrade. All right, so last checked, last update, the version's right there. Let's go ahead and check anyway. And you can see we're fully up to date. So first thing I wanna check, guys, is and there's a pop-up, your shield has been upgraded. So the apps are still upgrading in the background. So let's go to settings, and let's go ahead and go to accessory, and let's click on the shield uh, remote, remote one. And we just wanna see if anything changed, guys. So we still have the remote one settings there. Backlight options look like they're still the same. Find this remote, still the same. So um, nothing changed. I uh, look like the firmware did update to 1.0.8. Previously is 1.0.6. So no big change. I'm sure something was done in the background, but um, nothing visible in my opinion, work just like it did before on any version of the NVIDIA Shield. I should mention this is the 2017 Shield that I'm using, not the 2019 Shield. So next thing, let's go ahead and check out Plex, guys. Just wanna make sure that the, the DVR function or the, the video on demand is available. Scroll down, and click on more. Let's click Plex. All right, so this should be it right here, guys. Movies and TV. So this is all video on demand, guys. So looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and we'll just click on anything, see if it will play. Alright, so it does have some ad. Um, we'll see how many. The ad, the quality on the ad looks pretty awesome. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like that works pretty well. I'll go ahead and cut it. Um, but that seems to be working. And the last thing I want to check on is the channels DVR app, just because I haven't seen it. If it's gonna take too much to, to cover in this video, what I'll do is do a follow-up video for you guys. So it's called channel. DVR. All right, let's go ahead and open it. All right, your channel DVR server could not be discovered, blah, blah, blah. So I think for this, I need an HD home run. So this is something I'll probably have to do a follow up video on, guys. But that's basically it for the Shield upgrade. This is Experience 8.0.2. Uh, the biggest feature, of course, was support for the new NVIDIA Shield remote that was recently released currently sold out um, but besides that a couple new games bug fix but nothing too major on this upgrade that's it for this video thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one
I'm going to go to the hospital. 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 I'm going